Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Stone and welcome to my channel Accelerate and in this week's episode I'm going to show you how to record your macros. So I've thought of a nice example of using toggle buttons that we're going to record. So you'll see here in my simple example I've got sales that I'm tracking from Jan to December. This is 2019's results and if I click on the 2020 tab here it's going to pull through my 2020 results and if I toggle back to 2019 it's going to pull through through the recording of macros. So let's get straight into this one. So I've got a data tab here that you can copy over in your spreadsheet. It's got basic data for 2019 and for 2020 sales from Jan to December with the actuals and the target and the same for 2020 obviously with uh, different results that we got. So this is our data tab. We're going to pull the data from this tab here. All right, so let's start off with a new sheet here. Let's that's sheet two in my spreadsheet here. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert shapes. So here in the top side, we've got insert shapes. And the shape that I'm looking for is this rectangular with uh, rounded corners. It looks like a little tab. So here in B2, I'm going to insert this tab. There we go. And I'm going to put in there 2019. And I'm going to just format this uh, in the home space here, home tab. I'm just going to put it in the middle. There we go. And I'm going to um, control C. And then I'm just going to click on D2 and control V. So that we have a second tab. And I'm just going to call it 2020. And I'm also going to format the shape. So I'm just going to format the shape with the full. I'm just going to make it another color for us here. And just put it here. 2020. There we go. Perfect. So there's our shape. Let's just align it with the, our shape above there we go perfect all right so what we do what we want to do is we're going to record this macro so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to hit the developer tab if you don't have this developer tab descriptions above to my first video um explaining how you can get that developer tab open here as well so if you've got the developer tab open we're going to go here to record macro so there is the record macro button you're going to click on the record macro button and you're going to give it a name. Let's say uh, toggle one. This is for 2019's results. So I'm going to say okay. And now we're in macro mode. So let's replace this one. All right. So what we need to do is we're going to go into data. We want to highlight 2019's results here from B2 to N5. We're going to hit control C. We're going to go back to our sheet here. And we're going to click on B3 and we're going to say Control V. There we go. And we're going to choose A1 here. So it clicks out of the copy and we're going to stop recording the macro. Done. We've recorded that macro. But I see my color schemes aren't matching up so nicely. So I'm just going to left click on this toggle one or the 2019 toggle here. I'm going to go to Format. And I'm just going to give that the corresponding shape of our data here. And in 2020... I'm going to highlight 2020's tab, give it a nice light blue. So that's toggle 1 done. So let's go for toggle 2. So what we need to do is we're going to go back to developer. We're going to go back to record macro. And now we're going to say toggle 2. I'm so I'm going to say OK. And now we're in a recording mode here. So I'm going to go back to my data sheet. I'm going to go from B7 to N10, Control C, and then go back to my Sheets tab, I'm going to go back to B3, and I'm going to hit Control V. I'm going to click on A1, and I'm going to stop the recording. There we go. So we, we recorded that macro, very nice. And then uh, last thing that we're going to do is we're going to assign the macros here. So 2019, right click, assign macro, that's toggle one, okay. And on the tab 2020, left click, right click then, assign macro, toggle two. I see our shapes got outlines as well. So if you want to change that, you can just right click on the toggle, go back to format, and we can just take out the shape outlines here. No outline, and the same for our 2019, no outline. So that gives us a nice look and feel. And then if we're gonna click it, it's going to do what we need to do. And just for that final nice step is we're going to insert a nice bar graph here. So we're going to highlight from actuals from B5. 
to N6 here. I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to insert a simple uh, column here. There we go. Don't need the chart title. You can delete that. We can just reshape this so it fits on screen. And we're just going to, the last step is to select the data. And we're going to edit the right hand column here with the dates. Hit OK. OK. There we go. Perfect. So now we can hit 2020 and it will update the results accordingly. Awesome, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. Remember to subscribe and recommend me to your friends. And in next week's episode, we're going to look at toggle buttons in more depth, like the example here. I've got an off button here. That means my light is off. I'm going to click on it and it's going to turn it on. It's a nice functionality that I'm going to teach you next week. All right, from me, Stone and Accelerate. Cheers.